What's up everyone, Juno here and welcome back to a new live reaction and today I'll be checking out Dion Timmer's new EP on Subsidia, Arcane. Now this comes less than a year after his debut album, Enter a Chroma, which I reviewed when I started out this channel and honestly I didn't really like it much. The only song I come back to from it is Companion, but Dean mostly does better in an EP format. I do remember kind of liking Textasy and Very Extra, so I kind of hopes that this will be kind of solid we got seven tracks today to check out so let's start this off with track one all my thoughts with luchi so that was the song that was released uh, before but i don't remember hearing it so this will be <laughs> kind of a first impression anyways okay some nice little vocals so far hmm kind of feeling it oh some nice little production so far wow okay it's going to go in a more melodic route. Oh, I hope so. I saw my full samples. Okay, let's go. Be melodic. Be melodic. Oh, some nice little leads so far. I feel like the snare should have hit just a bit harder. It's good, but like, it's not great. It really could have been better so far. Um, my god, this was on the verge of being really, really killer, but I hope the second drop really improves it because... Ooh, ooh that guitar, that guitar. Oh, I saw Fake Out. I kind of have the same issue I have, have with a lot of slippy songs. The melody is good, really good, but like the, the overall production, snares, kicks, it just sounds a little weak. It, it lacks a little punch, I feel, but yeah, this is pretty good still. So let's move on to track 2 Arcane. wonder if it's going to be heavier or melodic here. Hmm, okay, it's definitely going to be. A heavier too. Huh, okay, some interesting lead so far. Hmm, okay. Good. I wonder where, where this is going to lead. Hmm. So far, the atmosphere is kind of good. I don't even have a lot to say about this so far. Wait, was, wait, was it the drop? I kind of thought it was gonna be a build up here, but yeah, I, I guess that song is doesn't really have a drop. Okay. Yeah, okay, we're back to the build up. I, really, I I think this is it. the drop. Yeah, okay, this this is the drop, okay. I don't know how to feel about this, honestly. The, the melody is here. Ugh. This just sounds like a filler track. It's just trying to go for a vibe direction, but just doesn't really work. Mm, not feeling this one, honestly. Nah. Not my thing. I'll say this so far, this is more enjoyable overall than... Okay. I don't know why this was here, but... Okay. Uh, next track is Ikari featuring G-Rex and Armini Rain. Okay, so far Armini sounds like a discount virus syndicate. I mean, he has a really energetic flow, so I really hope that the drop will be kind of powerful and endemic. But I don't really like Heavy Dion, so we'll see about that. This is the kind of dubstep song that makes me sit still. Okay, like the last song, the lead melody here. I don't know how to feel about this because it has potential, but yeah, yeah it doesn't really work for me. That's basically all it has. I honestly thought it was going to be more bro step direction, but instead it just really sounds flat. This was not what I expected, honestly. Okay, let's hope the second drop is a bit better. Come on, man. Give me some good stuff. Come on. If 
said it's that <laughs> So instead it feels horrible or screechily because of course this is better than uh, delete that wasn't the drop before I love me some screechy stuff okay seriously that, that didn't sound good at all uh, I really want to give more constructive criticism here but I just don't know what to say next track here is Haunt Me with Azuria Sky I hope this will be more melodic Azuria Sky really sounds amazing over more melodic stuff so Hey, I have hopes for that one. And so this guy is gonna have a weird filter over them. I'm not sure if I like this. As so this guy is a really good singer, why does she have a filter over her? Uh, yeah, this is disappointing so far. Auto tuning out the vocals. Seriously, so this guy is such a great presence normally, but here is, she sounds. Completely tuned out, you could have just not put any credits and it doesn't wouldn't make a difference. Okay, drop. Bruh. Yeah, last time that Dion had collabs with Azure Sky, it was one of our more chiller cuts like Beneath the Waves, I know you're there. So why wasn't that like another great track that went for a more chiller melodic approach? But the bros that drop just fell so forced. Okay, I feel like we're gonna get a new drop. Okay, what what Hmm. Okay, she done now, it's more melodic, but it's not the kind of like future bass I really enjoy that lead just sound really weird. Not really with a lot of impact here. This is a mess honestly. This this song. I'm just gonna say that. This really could have been a lot better. And I really feel like Dion's losing his touch. Next track, Amsterdam. We're at track 5, we're halfway through the EP. Interesting little mel the melody right now. Kinda sounds more tropical. Okay, so far I'm into this. Do I, I really hope that this will stay uh, more of a melodic. Well, I mean, it stays in a melodic style, but. Not sure if I like this. Like I really, I'm not just gonna say this. The uh, only can make just great songs. Just look at the Shiawaze, Amperian, uh, goddamn Internet Boy. Okay, maybe I'm just biased for melodic Dion, but this ain't it like at all. I know Dion has potential, and. Here so far, he hasn't really un tapped into it. This, uh, it's him in autopilot, and it's not really that interesting. Yay! So so far, I only like one song. This is a bit worrying, honestly. But yeah, Dion just didn't really show his absolute best here, I feel. But maybe the, but the next two tracks are actually the ones I was most high for. So we're now heading to the Excision and Monica Sentucci collab, Broken Pieces. Oof, Monica, Monica. Wow, these vocals sound so good. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous here. Wow. Ugh. Is this going to be it? Is this going to be the really excellent song on that EP? I hope so, seriously. Oh, how I hope so. Hmm. Hmm. This is really calm melody. This sounds good. 
Oh, this score is kind of really catchy. Come on, give me some good drop here. just feel like the melody just uh, wasn't uh, my thing if it had like a different type of melody I probably would have liked this more but uh, there was something missing here really because the verses the chorus they all sound really great they're gorgeous majestic but the drop kind of just killed the mood for me this is disappointing i'm just gonna be honest uh, i hope something will change in that second drop come on okay not gonna lie maybe that drop grew on me but yeah this is pretty decent i'm gonna be honest but, man, this does not compare to a lot of Dion Timmer's other melodic stuff. But so far, I think this is the my favorite song on that EP. Monica just killed it here. Excellent vocals, as always. Now with the last track here, Rediscovery with Teddy Killers. Kinda darker vibe here. Kinda interesting. Okay. Digging it so far. Ooh. Mm. Okay, German. Is it gonna be German bass? Ooh! Ooh, this is good. Pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm actually digging this. The groove, it's infectious. And probably mostly Teddy Keller's, actually. I really should check out the discography, I only heard Elevate and a few other tracks. Hmm. Okay, yeah, this was a pretty nice surprise. Yeah, okay. Finally. A song on that EP I actually quite dig. Come on. Well, that's different. Hmm, this ain't as good as the first drop. I feel like the production here is kind of a little weaker, or maybe I just didn't. Noticing the first drop, that would just sound more like Dion's part, and I'm not sure if like, it clicks with me. Still, one of the better tracks on that EP, and yeah, it's uh, seven and final track on Arcane. Now, I feel like Dion's style still is better in an EP format rather than an album because Enterchrome really just dragged and this is probably a better package of songs but it also doesn't hit the highs that Enterchrome did but it certainly doesn't hit the absolute lows so instead we're just selling for mediocrity I'm gonna underwhelming Exision collab Titty Killer is one that Kind of was nice, but not like that great. And Lu Luki, Luchi, which also was a pretty nice track. These are probably these standouts, and even then, they're not songs that I'll particularly return to. The rest kind of just sounded messy and really probably not my thing, but also it's not Dion at his full potential. Seriously, he compared this to his earlier work. Hell, even from like last year, there's, I feel like there's kind of a downgrade in quality here. And that's uh, not a good thing looking forward for Dion's career. Uh, 
I I really wanted to like this. I really wanted, but yeah, that didn't really happen, and that's disappointing. Yeah, that's basically one word that I would resume this lesson with disappointing. Anyways, that's going to be it for this live review. Did you like the music? Did you not? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you prefer this type of video for me to review the albums in compared to the last video that I made, which was the Cloud Cage review one. I really want to know because live reacting is actually really fun and you never know what you're gonna get. Yeah, that's basically it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.